We present neural dynamic policies for end-to-end -end sensory motor learning. Consider a robot trying to catch a ball. Not only must it know when and where it should intercept the ball, but it also has to reason about its momentum and forces when trying to catch the ball. Hence, we need reasoning about both kinematics and dynamics. In contrast, current methods in deep robot learning often output actions at each time step and do not reason in trajectory space. Furthermore, they operate in raw action spaces, outputting end effector positions or torques at each time step. This is probably fine for quasi-static tasks like planar pushing, but not for tasks that involve more complex dynamics, such as catching. So can we build policies that directly reason in trajectory space? Many naturally occurring phenomena are dynamical systems that can be described by a set of nonlinear differential equations. For example, the motion of fluids, the flow of heat, or how planets move around the sun. Can we use the formulation of a dynamical system to describe the motion of a robot? Indeed, people have thought about how to use such structure for defining trajectories in classical robotics. For instance, the seminal work on dynamic movement primitives, or DMPs, has been very successful in allowing robots to perform real-world tasks. These DMP-based methods can handle dynamic tasks really well, and they can reason in trajectory space. However, in order to obtain this parameterization, most approaches require dense supervision, usually from structured human demonstrations, and these can be very sensitive to hand-engineered parameter tuning. The second and more important drawback is that these are difficult to generalize to high-dimensional inputs, for example, images. In contrast, deep reinforcement learning methods can learn from high-dimensional inputs. Furthermore, these methods are also able to learn from weak supervisions, such as rewards. However, unlike DMPs, they only reason at each time step and not at the full trajectory, and they have difficulty with dynamic tasks. So how can we bridge the gap between these two different paradigms? In current methods, a state input is given to a black box network which outputs an action that is executed in the environment. In contrast, instead of the black box network, we propose embedding a dynamical system inside the policy. We call our method Neural Dynamic Policies, or NDPs. We embed the dynamical system that describes dynamic movement primitives. Given an input state, a network phi is used to obtain parameters for the dynamical system. NDPs parameterize the trajectory via the parameter g, which represents the goal, and the forcing function f, which captures the shape of the trajectory. A forward integrator then uses these DMP parameters and outputs the trajectory to follow. We can then use this trajectory to output actions for the robot to execute in the environment. Embedding such structure allows our policy to reason in the space of physically plausible trajectory distributions while maintaining the ben benefits of end-to-end -end learning methods as well. Here's some intuition about what NDPs might be capturing. Given a starting joint position and a goal shown in green, the blue line is a trajectory taken by a vanilla RL policy. Note that this shows a noisy and jerky looking path to the goal since the action is being decided at each time step. On the other hand, the red trajectory governed by an NDP shows a smooth convergence to the same goal. We evaluate our method on various continuous control tasks in the reinforcement learning and imitation learning settings. We can see that our method, shown in red, outperforms several prior methods, either in terms of absolute performance or sample efficiency. For more information, we encourage you to check out our paper.